Hello everyone! Kumusta mga kabayan? I am back on my channel. Today, I would like to share this topic about how to get or prepare prepaid sub address envelope stamps with tracking number for Philippines passport renewal using post office service. Uh, this is commonly used for passport renewal, especially like Embassy of Republic of the Philippines. Uh, this is very required and it is mandatory to have this a self-address envelope stamp with tracking number. Anyways, I created a video for prepaid self-address envelope stamps with tracking number but that was for in general requirements from embassy of other countries. I noticed that too from different countries. Today's topic is specifically for uh, Philippine passports renewal. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and stay tuned for more information. Let's begin. First, print out the requirements from Embassy that you got approved to uh, for your appointment for passport and bring it to the local post office or post office nearby where you where you at. Show to the clerks or you can tell the, the clerks uh, you need a prepaid self-address envelope stamps with tracking number and they will know what type of envelope is going to use uh, if you say like priority they are going to ask you is it priority mail or priority mail express so you have to know that before to ask before you purchase envelope stamps self-address envelope stamps at the post office okay remember this is for domestic only within United States it's not for international this is very easy you can do this on your own just the important thing you can do this make sure it has a correct postage it will tell you on the requirements it has to have a correct postage so this is the one for my mother a passport appointment you need to know what type of envelope they will tell you for this one for my mother's passport appointment it will uh, it's asking for self-address return USPS envelope Envelope with tracking number and priority specifically here priority flat rate postage seven dollars seventy five cents but now the the price change is seven dollars ninety five cents it gone up like that was January so this is the right one so it will tell you uh, nearest post office you, ha you can go to the nearest post office this is very mandatory from the embassy of the count and then and make sure you have the tracking number this is the tracking number and this is the postage for flat rate this is the postage okay it tells you the here it's seven dollars and 95 cents seven dollars 95 cents for flat rate for this envelope sometimes the post office they run out this kind of flat rate stamps this one it's sold out it won't last a lot of people buy this i don't know why because i think it's a flat rate price uh, regardless of the weight it's it's the price is flat rate if they out for that postage like that the clerk will use these this is like a dollar sometimes they have like two dollars sometimes they use like a dollar and something like it can make to seven dollars 95 cents i can use like this eight of them two four six eight because the flat rate price for this priority flat rate price for this envelope it is seven dollars 95 cents so i can use uh two four six eight eight of these so i know it's five cents difference but it won't gonna break the bank but anyhow i would suggest let the clerks taking care of of these envelopes to prepare because the clerks are really know what's going on especially when you show them the approval of letters like this if you show them they will be happy to help you and it, make, it makes easier for them so they will just uh, process this like easy peasy okay so this is the right envelope normally this is the right envelope they are going to require as I noticed for my mother's passport renewal we went there last week in washington dc everybody bring this type of envelope flower because that was it say here use the flower so you need to read the these requirements before you go to the post office or like i said bring this to the post office the clerk would be happy to help you fast and quick as soon as possible but anyhow for 
Philippine embassy, they use this kind of, they require this type of mailing service. All right, all you have to do it is, if you want to do this on your own, or you just buy the postage, the clerk will tell you what to do, okay? Put your full name, your address, city, state, and zip code. Correct and complete do not guess that and i would recommend either leave here blank or if you know the embassy you can put their address but i was told with my uh cool workers they've been there for 10 20 years they recommended me to put uh, my address here my address here because it's from me to me but it depends it, it really depending but what i did for my mom i leave it blank and then i think the philippine embassy they have this kind of stamp that uh, that that's their headlines i believe so but i really make sure that my my address is here full name and then my address here my mom's of course it's my mother's passport renewal full name of my mother and then delivery address line and then city state and zip code that's how i prepare this i put this here that was over there like that make sure it's a flower right that i cover it make sure it's a flower right? the post office clerk will tell you what to do but for me when i am assisting my customer like this i always take this out and then but most of most of the time the customer they let me to do it and then i will give them the finished uh, item so what i normally do i will instruct them um, either you put your information here and then but this is the very important one put your name address here because this is going back to you it say here all applicants are required to provide a self-address return usps envelope with tracking number and priority mail flat rate postage so this is what it say for it means that this is going back to you it's already paid you don't have to worry once they done processing your passport uh they send you the new one it's a renewal that's what they call it. it's a return uh self-address envelope stamp with tracking number what I normally do I put the tracking here and then I let the customer know save this receipt because you know why this receipt it proves that when the Philippines embassy when it ready to send it back to you I think it say six to eight weeks I waited for probably like eight weeks and I will try to track this I will I will go to the USPS.com and type in this number you have to wait like probably eight weeks because we were told to for my mom's passport renewal six to eight weeks so I wait I will be waiting it but within eight weeks I will try to track this number that's what I um, I was told so I will tell the customer hold on to this receipt this receipt is your tracking number but you have to wait until like they will tell you like uh six to eight weeks that's the time you start looking at it looking at the our website this is uh, the main thing this is very important here put your complete information before you give this to the philippine embassy you do not throw the receipt because the receipt is the tracking purposes before you throw the receipt you have to wait until your your item will arrive safe uh, for all the Filipinos out there here in United States, I hope this video it gives you uh, an idea of how to get prepaid self address envelope stamp with tracking number at the post office. I hope this is pretty easy for you to follow along. If you have any question, just send me a message or comment below and I will respond to your question as soon as possible. And please check the link on the description box for more mailing and shipping using post office service maraming salamat po at mabuhay tayong mga pilipino and once again thank you be blessed and be safe out there and bye salamat po